Hey guys, it's Skeet. And Piper. And today me and Piper are going to be doing a podcast about bullying. And the whole idea of the podcast is to inform people that bullying is not okay. And to prove that point, we're going to be bringing on a guest to talk about their experience with bullying. But before we start with the interview with our guest, me and Piper went around the building and we put up a bunch of inspirational quotes. And we hope that if you're ever feeling down or upset, you will look at these quotes and they will make you feel 10 times better than you did before. So finally, we have our guest, and we will not be stating names due to privacy reasons, and any names and personal information will be left out. So what is your bullying experience like? What was it like? Personally, I was kind of, I don't want to say dumb, but I didn't realize certain things as a kid. So when I do, like looking back on it, I realized that these kids were trying to pick on me, but little me didn't realize that and I would play along with it like if they said oh your hair is weird and I would say well your face is weird and it would be like a back and forth thing and they just wouldn't bully me after that because they realized it came off as that it didn't affect me but I really just didn't realize they were doing anything so like it was that like the only thing that like they look like it, like the general of the bullying was it just like your hair is weird blah 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 or was it like it was usually just like words because hmm. it's like most bullies from what i've seen start off with words and then like they actually start doing like mean things i don't know like stealing and stuff like that Mm -hmm. um so it only started off with words and it ended right there wow how long did this i can i remember it being in mainly like third and like fifth grade um because i had i had very nice kids in my fourth grade class so it never really happened there but i remember it like a couple times like being like left out or um, like they just tried, but it didn't ever actually affect me because I just didn't realize it was happening. Or I did and I still didn't affect me. You were experiencing bullying. Like how did it like change you? Like how did you overcome? I guess it didn't make, it didn't change anything about me during it. But when I realized it, it kind of made me a little sad like that I realized I was being bullied Mm -hmm. because it's good that it didn't, I didn't let it affect me them. But like, it kind of made me sad because why would I get bullied? You know, right. like nobody should get bullied. That's right. what made you different from them. Like it yeah. just, no. Right. I get it. Um, What was like the final like thing that like brought it to like attention that you were like, oh, like I was actually getting bullied. Um, I was just kind of like reminiscing about time. Like me and my friends were talking about it, like in, experiences like when we were in the intermediate school and kids and then it just like popped in my head like oh I guess I was kind of but like it just it kind of happened like naturally like I just finally thought about it and I just popped clicked for you to like realize that it was bullying did you have to see someone else get bullied yeah I've most of my friends have actually very sadly been bullied before Mm -hmm. um and I've seen also how it like affects them and stuff bullying is a very negative thing because it like it destroys people it's led to a lot of self-esteem issues um it can even lead to like personal but like it can even lead to injury sometimes sometimes i've had a friend that got attacked by a bully with like a pair of scissors and they have like a scar on their arm from it yeah because it's like just because kids are nasty and just think that it's okay because you know either They've never been bullied before, or they just, or they realize what they're doing, and they're just mean spirit, like hateful people, even as kids. I'm sure they're better now, but it's still awful. Right. I think bullying is, no matter what age, it's just an awful thing to do. If, even like if you're like starting off at like such like a young age, you right. shouldn't like. Yeah, and it also like makes people de- like it changes people for like what I've seen because I've had a friend who they used to be like really nice. We were like the best of friends for a really long time. And then all of a sudden they changed just because that like, I don't know, I was hanging out with people that I didn't know that they were bullied by certain people. And then all like, they only told me after I started hanging out with them. And then they felt, I don't know, betrayed or something like that, that I just didn't know something they never told me. And it, it sucked to lose like a friend because it's like, they felt insecure about themselves because of bullying. They felt anxious about everything. Like it just changed them for the worse because of how it affected them because mm-hmm. it made them have such like low self-esteem. 
going through bullying like after you did like what's like some advice you would give to someone that is going through it keep your chin up it, it, in the end it won't really ever matter they're usually most bullies are insecure people say that but it really is true they're insecure about themselves and they're just taking it out on you think about it like you know they have their own stuff going on just ignore them maybe one day they'll become better people right so what is some words of advice that you would give to like a bully um better yourself really Mm -hmm. um I don't know, maybe try some kind of online therapy or, like, maybe (laughs) ask to go to therapy if it's, (laughs) like, if you really are just... I mean, if you're doing it because you like people suffering, still go to therapy. That means you're a psychopath. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because some bullies are psychopaths. It's just, like, they do it just because for, like, the thrill of making people... Right. Yeah. Like, either way, find help, reevaluate, like, self-evaluate what you're doing, and stop. Stop.